In Washington, D.C., we found that a number of victims who report a sexual assault are treated insensitively, are not believed, are blamed for their assaults, and are traumatized by their experience with police. I got the weapon away from him. I, I saved myself. I started to feel like a victim because of my interactions with the police. They didn't believe me. They made me feel ashamed for questioning them. When we started to speak with victims, witnesses, community service groups, and others in, who work in the hospital and work closely with victims, we discovered that people were concerned that their cases weren't being investigated. They made me feel like I was making something up when all I was trying to do was tell them what happened so that it could be reported accurately so that it wouldn't happen again. If one case gets shut down because it was improperly handled, then you have an offender who is going to continue to offend against probably several other women. They never really gave me straight answers. At points they stopped returning my phone calls. This guy was never caught. I sort of knew the second he ran away, if they didn't catch him that night when he was in a shirt covered in my blood, they were never going to catch him. All cases of sexual assault need to be investigated. They don't all have to be prosecuted, but police are required to investigate. I was told by this policeman that they have a lot of sexual assaults and he knew right away that there wasn't enough evidence. I asked him, do you believe me? Do you believe this? Because the light bulb started to go off that maybe he wasn't on my side. Maybe he just didn't believe me and he didn't have time for this. And he said to me, I believe you believe this. And I, and my response was, okay, we're done and I never talked to him since then. I can't say I blame her because what that statement basically says is you might be mentally ill. I mean, you, you have bought into something that isn't real. Yeah, I don't know, but it's, I think maybe, yeah, it's just part of the worst part of the experience in some ways, you know? It's really true when they say it can just be re-traumatizing. I definitely felt just traumatized all over again. A negative initial response from a police officer is going to further traumatize the victim. The few women who do come forward, if they're treated negatively by the system, it's going to create a much larger chilling effect that's going to continue to depress the number of reports. When the detective was asking me questions, I felt like it wasn't to elicit information that she could use, but it was also to find out how I was at fault. And I just walked away from that thinking, she doesn't see me as a real victim. She sees me as a whiner, as somebody who's just complaining, not as somebody who has rights that need to be protected. I think the way that I was treated was so traumatizing. And in fact, when I sought some mental health services after the crime occurred, I focused more on my treatment by the police than I did on what actually happened with the assault. And I've heard that that's not uncommon. I think that I would have healed from this a lot faster if I hadn't reported to the police. Sexual assault is already the most underreported violent crime. So we would hope that all cases are investigated thoroughly and that victims are treated with respect and dignity when they come to the police to report a sexual assault.